Yes, so thank you all. Thank you for your work so far. Deci vă mulțumim pentru lucrul pe care l-ați îndeplinit până acum. So, basically, uh, now the idea is here that uh, I checked the document. Most of the... Eu am verificat documentul. Somehow I hear the translation in my channel. I don't know. Yeah, Diana, are you on the Russian channel now? I mean, our interpreter, Diana. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Kasu, Diana, I, I will uh, stop your video uh, there for a moment. Sorry. Yes. So now we have a couple of minutes. Uh, the idea is that I hope that uh, one person in from each institute will uh, share two ideas uh, about the work you just did. One should be what would be the new idea and how you will use the website in the future. And the other second thing is you shortly describe what you are going to do during the next month. That's the idea. So we had, uh, I think we had five institutes involved, say it was on the at place. So should we start with economy and finance? Is there anyone? Yeah. Sergio yeah. Coches is. They are now asking each other who who will present this information. Dear colleagues, hello. We worked uh, together when on filling in the table. I can tell you that uh, in our institution, the things were planned uh, long before the beginning of October. We issued an uh, order by which we d designed uh, responsible persons for updating, filling in, and bringing to order the web page Digital Meta. And as you understood, Ms. Burkov, who is the head of the chair of IT, She made a great effort in uh, in order to have the result that you saw on the web page together with uh, our colleagues. Of course, that the information was uh, selected from the other heads of uh, chair who actually managed to to make a system and uh, work on the materials elaborated by teachers. It Following, we will disseminate and promote the web page. Within certain activities, events, or during the meetings of the teachers board or administration board. Actually, within the administration board, we discussed the topic of uh, updating uh, the web page the digital matter web page and the importance of the web page for the institution and for our sector particularly respectively now uh, have put on paper what we already planned uh, previously i wasn't attentive what was the, the uh, to the first question we wrote down how we will use uh, the site I just uh, missed the question. So that's my part and uh, thank you. Yes, that's totally clear. It's nice to see that you have a good plan. You, uh, you are well organized. This is uh, heartwarming for us to see such a uh, good work you are doing. And uh, I'm happy with your plan. Please continue with that. If you have any questions, any queries, please ask and uh, of course if there are any technical issues uh, i believe uh, during this month uh, Seiti, andre and adrian could help you a lot if there's any technical 
things need to be done. Of course, we try to support you as much as we can, but uh, we need to mainly do this during the training weeks, but you have the system, you have the colleagues, please use them. Thank you so much. So could uh, energetics and electronics be the next one? Is there anyone? Uh, Alexandra should be from there, but if you are just updating there the information. So he's not answering. So we could take the construction for the next, if there's one of you could share your ideas. Yes, hello everyone, everybody, hello. I'm Victoria Gardan, Center of Excellence. As a ways of using the web page, we've suggested to, as it to be a platform for concentrating material, didactic materials, and the platform for distributing materials during classes. Uh, recommend uh, students to study individually in the groups this uh, site, of course, also to develop this uh, as a database with didactic materials and at the same time to diversify the didactic materials. Speaking of new ideas of using the web page, we plan to use it for exercising some competences, promoting the specialties of the institution, uh, familiarization uh, with the um, discipline or separate specialties because we have uh, both mandatory and uh, other disciplines that can be chosen. And we want the students to be informed uh, what does every discipline uh, presume. Uh, ex experience exchange among um, teachers so that the teachers can get inspired one from the other. In terms of uh, planning of the uh, updating the web page, we plan uh, between uh, 25 30 of the each month to update the web page with new information that will be collected, gathered uh, during this time. In terms of the responsible people, Mr. Kochash and Skardan will be responsible for placing the web materials on the web page. The heads of the chairs will assign responsible persons for collecting um, didactic materials. So we will analyze and select uh, uh, the methodist Nikolaeva Elena will be responsible for analyzing it this uh, data and uh, of course there will be uh, also a working group of teachers who will uh, uh, work on elaborating this uh, didactic materials. This is a mini plan let's say which we will try to follow up to February. Thank you that's really good it sounds really organized it's really good to hear you have a good idea please work step by step do not try to do it too much in a short time but do best you can and uh, of course i believe with this plan it looks like you have a well organized system you have well planned system and uh, as i said uh, for the cef uh, Please, if you have any technical issues, any this kind of issues, contact Sadie. Please use our material to support your work. And uh, I really hope this will work out well. And I believe it will work out well. You are doing great work. So next, I would like to ask uh, Matejevici. So Kasu, Kasu Diana. Thank you. Actually, mm -hmm. I, yeah, and actually, Kasu, uh, I would like to ask you also present the idea uh, you talked to me and interpreted Diana earlier. Please present that idea mm -hmm. aloud also. <coughs> uh, 
Așa. Bună ziua tuturor! Hello everyone! I hope you can hear me clearly. Speaking of the ways uh, of the tasks that we are assigned, ways of using the web site. First of all, I see this web page as being used as a space designed for teachers from um, from uh, that for, for vet teachers as a um, didactic uh, support, as a space for disseminating teaching materials for students of uh, the respective sector, and is a source of identifying um, open, open sources uh, didactic materials. Speaking of the planning and updating this uh, web page, we plan to feel to update this web page with materials depending on the product that is uh, offered by the teachers, specialized teachers with the videos on specific topics, um, links to digital materials, I mean, uh, different uh, games and other tools that contribute to improving the didactic activity with lists to new bibliographic uh, resources that were identified in the specialty. Why not some uh, links? links from uh, web resources, useful uh, specialized uh, links, if there are any, and uh, materials uh, from uh, meetings uh, related to the didactic activity, because we are meeting uh, often and uh, we are meeting with people who are working in the sector and we identify what are the advantages. We've carried out uh, campaigns of uh, promoting pedagogic uh, professions and not only. Uh, speaking of new ideas of using this uh, web page, I think it would be useful to create an open chat, open for uh, all the teachers where we could uh, all communicate and share our experience with discussions on certain topics. To create, well, let's say, a methodic seminar where we could uh, share our activities or share useful tools which we can use. Speaking of uh, persons, uh, assigned responsible persons, I was uh, assigned uh, as responsible for filling in materials, uh, updating with materials and uh, ensuring the detective ensuring the didactic benefit of these materials. Well, beca that's because I am a pedagogy teacher and I'm teaching also uh, methodics. And I think my colleagues were, were sure, had the confidence that I will uh, fulfill this mission uh, on a decent level. Speaking of the uh, suggestion that I had uh, uh, earlier, I suggested to stimulate the teachers who contribute to contribute with materials uh, to the updating of the site to issue or to award them certificates that would prove that they contributed to, to the development of the web page with uh, digital materials. I believe that this will stimulate them to participate and to contribute to, with the materials. And not last, this uh, certificate will um, help them to gain uh, uh, this uh, credits that uh, they need uh, for attestation. So we would need to elaborate a general template for this diploma and which would mention the project as well. And we as uh, responsible persons uh, responsible persons for updating the web page, we can um, elaborate criteria on uh, updating uh, the information for the web page and uh, distribute it to teachers so the teachers can guide themselves and they will be motivated to elaborate these didactic materials because we all know that the elaboration of the uh, digital materials are effort and time consuming. Hence, in the end, I think uh, it will be a good tool for developing this uh, this web page that's it from from my side thank you for hearing uh, my message i would like to hear your opinion uh, regarding this uh, this idea this suggestion that i have 
Yes, so as I earlier said, on our part, we will look uh, a solution for this. It's a really good idea to give some recognition for all participate, participating teachers. And uh, I personally do not see any uh, obstacles for this, but of course, uh, from our side, as I said for you, Kasu, earlier, that we need to talk in our working groups and steering groups how we will do it. And uh, uh, I think we will find a way, and I will, and we will talk with ESCO and others this uh, on our side. And of course, if you have any ideas, please. And how about you, others? How you feel this kind of idea? May I intervene? Yeah. Uh, colleagues, uh, uh, this subject uh, is uh, relevant. Uh, in the is a relevant one. The initiation of the initiation we initiated the discussion already in February, if you remember when we were at GET, but I wanted to add something more. As long as Very responsible for the material that you are creating and giving to students, but it's something else when you share this material to other people and you share it as an example of best practice. We need to be very attentive in terms of uh, evaluation criteria of evaluating this material, but also we need to pay attention to the correctness of the materials that we are placing on the web page. Because if we make a video, a test or a PowerPoint presentation, some course notes, and uh, they have mistakes or they do not uh, meet certain uh, standards, then we, we, we risk to diminish the importance of the web page and of the work that we are doing. Or how do we take uh, this responsibility? How do we ensure the quality of the materials placed on the web page? Yes, thank you. That's the important question, of course. But as I would say, that that's the thing we could do in next February, that uh, we have some kind of planning and uh, have some kind of criteria for this kind of work. And this is just in our planning stage as a mo moment. And I propose that uh, we will have some, you will have some ideas written down. And when we gather together next time, we will have this kind of a joint decision how this kind of, for example, diplomas or batches or something, this tradition diploma, I understand the idea, but uh, we could agree the terms, how it will be benefit, uh, how it will be uh, get for the participating at the uh, 
content creator. This is a good idea. We need to uh, have further planning for this, but this is a really good idea because uh, I personally believe that uh, it's important that all who does uh, decent and good work for the site should get some reward out of it. But uh, let's talk about it a bit later. Time is running on. So, Alexandra, are you ready to present energetics and electronics? Да, чем чем формулаты какие-то идеи, когда мне эти надо на. Yes, I've formulated some ideas. Это моя проблема. Еще ла модель тест утилизаря сайта, да? So in terms of methods of using the site, we will use it as a platform of promoting activities and digital didactic materials and their promotion among teachers and students. This can be as an experience exchange for teachers and the web page can be as a collection of didactic materials also for students. Speaking of uh, responsible uh, persons, we have assigned three persons, myself and uh, we haven't agreed who, who will be the other teachers who will work on this. And speaking of uh, new ideas of using the web page, we've uh, thought of a module or a separate uh, page for professional or orientation. It can be the uh, additional support for students, for teachers, where they can, in a playful manner, as a game, they can, as a test, uh, they can choose or get familiar with a specialty that uh, they might like. And that's it. Thank you. That sounds a good plan. Uh, actually, I like this uh, gamification idea. This kind of ideas could be promoted on the website really, really well. Uh, you have a good idea how to work on. You have a, a good plan to work on. Uh, you get, get some ideas from other institutes how to uh, improve this plan, for example, as well as you others. Please take ideas from others and uh, try to implement those in your plan and updating system. You all have great ideas. A uh, bit different with each other, but uh, it's always good to have your way to work. So we have yet one institution left, uh, Industry Usuar. So if there's any uh, place uh, able to use microphone, you please welcome. So if there's no one, we can go further. Thank you for these ideas. And uh, let's uh, move on our subject. So I think it was so that I will be giving a stage for ESCO. And ESCO, please, uh, stage is yours. Thank you for your all. Yeah, this, um, thank you, Vesayona. This uh, process that uh, we've been doing uh, with several missions and from approaching from uh, different uh, viewpoints. And uh, now uh, the, ne uh, the next one is the last session for this website that we will have. I will first explain uh, what, what, what you are going to do in the breakout rooms and uh, show uh, if you haven't been using Google Forms, show how to use it. And then when you have uh, time for your breakout room uh, 
working, then you can take your bio break or make tea or coffee. So let's say something like 20 minutes more and then, then you will have uh, time, time to take a break. Okay, um, uh, the next one is, um, let me share the classroom with you the view to the classroom it's there i think now you should see here we are on the course and i, I will click on the classwork tab and go to this day and uh, what i'm talking about is here Kreachi un sondas, etc. So uh, that's that's the one we are dealing with next. So you can find that out as well. So you reflected the needs for the website uh, with the homework, and there were uh, questions about your own needs and what you think about the needs of the others. And just a while ago with Vesayana. You continued writing the ideas for the website on your sector from your own perspective. Uh, just a moment, there is a question from Diana Kasu. I'll try to see what that is in just English. Writing, I think uh, every institution will uh, orient itself based on uh, the specific features and the needs of the institution. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, precisely so. Yeah, so and, um, now um, the idea is that we will collect information about the needs on your sector by the other teachers and trainers both in your own college or institute and the other possible vet colleges uh, on your own sector. So this is not only getting information, but this is also at the same time sharing the awareness of the website that such a project exists and such material will be available. So it's also marketing. And, and the next Next step is that uh, you will create a survey uh, yourself, as, as, it, as, as you can see that there is the instruction. A survey uh, online and um, you can use whatever survey tool you, you like, but uh, most will, I think, use Google Forms and I will present that if needed. And um, the idea is that you'll be discussing the questions uh, in the breakout rooms and uh, create the form for your own sector by yourselves. And I thought that we will have something like 20 minutes or half an hour for that. Most likely you won't, uh, in that time, you won't get it done, but at least you discuss and you start and uh, you will uh, finalize it uh, soon and then execute the survey, send it to your colleagues and uh, to, to the other institutes on the sector. So that is the plan. And when you get this survey done in the assignment, I will click on the view assignment now. Oh, sorry wrong link. Um, uh, there. Ah, uh, you will see the actually uh, with my current uh, t teacher rights, I don't see the actual uh, Google uh, document there is, but there it is. Yeah, yeah. It has this, um, this kind of Google document. I will click on that. Yeah, and there, when you have the uh, the doc uh, document ready, the survey ready, uh, get the link and paste it here. And if there is some notifications, for example, to which 
colleges you are sending this or when you you may write those here as well so the question before uh, using the breakout rooms is uh, whether you have been using Google Forms or should uh, should I go go through the basic uh, use, uh, features of the tool first? So uh, anyone um, who who don't have any anybody. Uh, um, in their own, own uh, institute uh, who knows Google Forms could you could you say say something about that Um, noi folosim la Centrul de Excelență deja din septembrie, hai să spunem, la mod nu chiar obligatoriu, dar pe larg. Utilizăm Google forms pentru evaluare, pentru diferite sondaje, pentru colectarea, eu personal l-am utilizat pentru colectarea informațiilor despre elevi, că erau anul întâi. De ce am zis? La diferite teste, de ce îl utilizăm pe larg? I didn't hear the translation. I heard, sorry, only the uh, Romanian version and didn't sort of get the idea. Dumitru or Diana, could you translate it, please? Eu aș adăuga, noi chiar din Marte folosim Google Forms. So, uh, sorry, I was, I was on the wrong channel. Formări în mai pe acest uh, capitol. Uh, noi utilizăm Google Forms. So why are you using Google Forms? For different uh, uh, questionnaires. To find out what is their well-being. To for assessments. Different uh, types of questionnaires. Why are widely using it? So we're using it from uh, since March. We actually trained our uh, colleagues, teachers in Google Forms. We are also teaching them for next session and we are working on the next program for training the teachers to train them in developing those assessment tests. So because we are getting ready for what would be worse. Because if there will need be a need in online assessment, the teachers should be ready. So one of the online assessment tools will be Google Forms. Yeah, thank you. Uh, actually, I'd like to get a short uh, yes or no, whether you want me to go through the Google Forms. So it seems that uh, construction is You're... very aware already, but how about the others? Noi folosim de asemenea centru de excelență în economie și finanțe. We also using Center of Excellence in Economy and Finance. We are using yeah. in the assessment uh, in assessments. We are using it. So quality assurance department of the Center of Excellence are using this tool because they are using uh, these questionnaires according to their procedures. Also, uh, it is widely used from the previous times when collecting information about uh, professional path of the graduates. So is it so that uh, you who are present here now, you can uh, create a new Google Google Forms. That's the idea that uh, I was asking that uh, are you able to uh, create it now? At least uh, I, I think that construction and uh, economy, okay, you... Da, are, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
yes, we are able within the institution to make it. Okay. Uh, then uh, let's let's do so that uh, I will now create the breakout rooms where you can discuss uh, each uh, with your colleagues from the same sector. And uh, Vesayona and I, we will visit every breakout room and see if uh, uh, there is some individual or one-to-one -one assistance needed. Okay, is it so? So we have already the breakout rooms uh, made and uh, those who were uh, during Vesa Jonas uh, breakout sessions, you, you are assigned um, right away. So I will now open all rooms and uh, you will go there. There are some, especially from JT, who went uh, uh, during the first breakout room session. So you will be assigned separately. So um, we have 20 minutes. So uh, it's now half past two and uh, 10 to three, we will uh, continue uh, with other, other things uh, or actually uh, wrapping this together. So now I will open all rooms and please move to your breakout rooms and discuss according to the uh, classroom assignment and uh, create your Google Forms. Okay, everyone is assigned to their uh, own proper breakout rooms now. Yeah, it looks like everybody's there. Yeah, and I think that I'll, let's give them uh, some minutes to uh, sort of orient here and uh, sort of uh, find out how they will proceed. And then let's make after, let's say four or five minutes, let's start doing round. Okay. Yeah. And I yeah, see okay. that Vesa Yona is actually now in Industria Usoara where he was left last time. Should I take him out of that or yeah, actually- take him out because he's there by himself. <laughs> no, there is uh, Ionella actually. She speaks English or what? Ah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Diana, I will uh, move you actually to Industria Usoara if Vesayona is trying to uh, do I things. Don't think I don't think, as uh, Yonela told us uh, in the last breakout room, she's using her phone and her microphone okay. doesn't work. But we can go there. I mean, maybe she will, uh, by using the chat, maybe she'll uh, yeah, try uh, to ask something. Yeah, at least I will move you there. You, you and Vesa Yona can decide what to do there. Good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll mute uh, my mic for two minutes and grab more coffee.
So Esco, did you already visited some room or? You went to grab some coffee. Okay. I should grab some food at some point, but let's see. <laughs> you can disconnect uh, your camera and grab some food. No, I don't have any prepared, so <laughs> I need to suffer. It's a bit too early at 10 o'clock here to eat lunch. <laughs> That's true, but now it's 12 in your case. Yeah, almost half. Yeah, half 12, so half, half past midday. Yeah, okay. We will have some new here. Yeah. Um, I don't know where uh, is that person from Nikita Nikolaev. Okay, uh, hello, we got a, a new new participant, Nikita Nikolaev. Uh, Buna ziwa, welcome. I, th I think this is Elena Nikolaev. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then this is from construction, and uh, um, I can. Um, uh, Elena, I I will uh, move you to the breakout room of of construction, and uh, ask your colleagues uh, what they are doing there. So I think that uh, uh, you will be fine with the project that is going on. So Dumitru, did you translate or already? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, now you are able to open that breakout room. Um, oops, sorry, I did something, I think I moved Diana Kasu there. Um, now I think it's all, all right. Okay, um, should we start um, checking that uh, are they able to do this? At least construction and economics uh, seemed fine with Google Forms, so we can leave those as the last ones. But what I don't know are... Uh, Vesa Jona, you were there, uh, was Ionela there? Uh, did you discuss about she was there, she was on the phone, but she was saying that she conduct if uh, any assistance is needed. Okay. Okay, well, then we don't have to visit that one. Then we have uh, three uh, JD, it's uh, one of its own. Then we have energetics and electronics with uh, Alexander Leahu and uh, Mat Alexa Alexei Matevici with uh, Diana Kasu. So if both Diana and Vesayana will <laughs> <laughs> go there again. And I'm stuck with Diana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are I'm you not happy about it? Hey, I'm really happy. Can I'm stuck with Dumitru. <laughs> <laughs> how, come, how come I can hear Diana now? I was not able to do it before. Ah, because she's not interpreter for some reason. Yeah, because she uh -huh. had to lock out. Ah, also. okay. Then I have to 
assign the role again, just a moment. Don't do it again, because when she comes back, you need to do it again. Once oh, again. Yeah, it doesn't you make sense. It, you, you don't need it in breakout rooms, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, if you're doing it now, when she comes back again, it yeah. yeah, automatically yeah, pops yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Might, uh, yeah. You decide. Yeah. Okay, you go there now, and um, should I assign, so Diana first to Matevici and Vesayona move to Matevici as well. Farewell. And then Dumitru to Energeticasi Electronica and I will follow you. Should you know Bona Alexandro? Just for look. Hello. It looks like he's not here. Yeah, perhaps the tea tea making break going on. Yeah, okay. Um perhaps we just Leave the room then. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the main room. Um, I think I should be now in the main room, um, but there is only Veronica with me. Perhaps Dumitru is still. Yeah, Dumitru came back. Okay, Dumitru, you are here now. It's so. I again had the issue. Uh, I had the button only leave meeting. Yeah, uh, I had the same uh, when you were host, uh, and I had the same issue, and I had to leave whole meeting. That's so that odd. means uh, it's only you who can switch people from different to different rooms. Otherwise, they have to leave the meeting. Yeah, and somehow it. Um, yeah, yeah, you will uh, lose the uh, role even though you are an interpreter. You l l lose that role and you don't have any any special... Question. You, I just noticed your email that you sent two hours ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. No so, as I understand, in third uh, slide, it's the English version of the fourth, the Romanian version of the fourth slide, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you want me to check the correctness no, of translation? Uh, not anymore. No, no worries. Yeah, yeah. It's something. Sorry, I, you should yeah. have told me. Yeah, no, no. I just, uh, yeah, I could have just left it. Uh, no, no but worries. I don't know. I don't know why no, there was no notification. Yeah, because I sent it uh, straight from Google. Yeah. But hey, no. Um, I think that economy and. Uh, and and um, what else were doing good economy and construction, but uh, should we go there and just to say hi and check that everything is fine? You just move me where you consider necessary. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to economy first. Where is unassigned? Do me through there assigned to economy now and I will join as well. So yeah. here it seems that the work is progressing well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We can leave them. Yeah. Um, Ask if they need any any help. Yeah. 
Ștefan, Bună, de... colegiur. Aveți nevoie de ajutor că noi am venit să vedem dacă totul da, e ok. Parcă la moment nu. La moment nu, suntem okay, în... Bine. Da, care bine. este, dacă avem limită de întrebări și difere, adică diversificarea întrebărilor? Nu, mă, nu înțeleg la ce vă referiți. Deci, câte întrebări trebuie să aibă formularul? Uh, Esco, how many questions do the form has to have? Sau nu e asta important? So this uh, is not or this is not important. That is not important. Uh, I, uh, no uh, I wrote some ideas what areas or topics you might uh, ask, but think uh, about eu, yeah. Eu ideea câte, uh, teme, dar numărul de întrebări nu contează. Okay, bun, imediat. Pac okay. That's all. Okay. Așa uh, yes, go, move me to the main room. I'm not leaving, okay? Yeah, yeah, just a moment. Um, hey, uh, Dumitru, I will move you straight to construction. Da. All right. Uh, și punem de la aici. Oh, Elena, de mu Elena, de mu Nikita. Victoria, uite, ai văzut ce am făcut eu? Da, am văzut. Ați plasat să selectați mai multe casete de dialog, și imagini, și video, și ghiduri. Victoria? Da. Întrebări, aveți nevoie de ajutor sau vă descurcați? Noi la formulare, la însă și ca aspect, ca setări și tot așa mai departe, noi ne descurcăm. Pe singura, hai să spunem, problemă e formularea întrebărilor. Aici trebuie un pic de gândit. Ah, ok. So, the main issue is how to, the wording of the questions. Otherwise, they are doing ok. Yeah. I suggest that, that uh, when they get the first draft version done, they will uh, let some colleague uh, to uh, give good input whether they should have uh, different wordings. Or... Some colleague from their uh, institution or from other institution? Whichever they f feel that uh, could be get uh, Yes, Yescova sugerează că după ce terminați un primul proiect a întrebărilor, adică și o versiune draft, să dați cuiva să uite cu un ochi proaspăt ca să uite la formularea întrebărilor. Mm -hmm. Ok? But ok. Da, da, sondajul ăsta trebuie să adreseze sau trebuie să fie separat, adresat profesorilor și elevilor totodată. Uh, so this question should separate. be both for students and teachers so we can make separate uh, questionnaires. Uh, I, I would think that uh, uh, they might be separate uh, questionnaires. You can make one and duplicate it. Spune încă o dată? Am mine s-a deconectat sunetul, nu vă auzeam. N-am auzit nici acest lucru. Victoria întrebase dacă sondajele trebuie să fie făcute separat pentru profesori și pentru studenți și Iescu a spus că ar fi mai bine să fie separate. Clar, nu. Dar e tot normal aici? Da, să noi să vă întrebăm dacă e tot normal. Nu, dacă noi știm să facem. Domnul Coceaș, eu am zis că e ok, noi suntem ok la capitolul setări și tot așa mai departe, ce ține de partea tehnologică a Google Forms. Singura problemă la noi e formularea întrebărilor. Nu, dar și formularea întrebărilor tot o să o facem dacă mai ne Nu, o să o facem, dar ea durează un pic. Dumitru, I will move you to chat. Ok. Da, Victoria, poți fi aici la link-ul sau pui acolo noi la gramadă? Mm -hmm. Eu mă duc la școală din clasa întâi. Uh, noi am intrat să vedem dacă vă descurcați cu Google Forms-urile, dacă aveți nevoie de ajutor, dacă tot nu. merge bine. Tot normal, numai că formularul... Nu sunteți iar la lecții. Nu, necătare lecții l-am terminat, dar ah, okay. n-ai ceva. Deci întrebare generală, aveți nevoie de ajutor să vă descurcați? Nu, descurcat, ne descurcăm, nu o problemă. Noi am mai okay. făcut formulare și am mai făcut de astea chestionare. Am înțeles. They said everything is okay, they don't need any help, they have been doing that before. Ok, 
wonderful. And actually, the 20 minutes uh, is time is up. So uh, in a minute, they will be uh, those rooms will be closed. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Th thank you, um, Dumitro. I will move you to the. Uh, I'm moving up by myself. Uh, are you able to now? Also, I have to get uh, in in ten minutes. I will be in. Uh, uh, Dumitro is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. He is, and he's understanding everything which you are doing. So I'm happy. Great. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of participants. I expected more people to be. Yeah, I think it's participate, quite but yeah. So on Monday at ten o'clock we have we have a meeting already said about yeah. this. I had also Carl confirming this. Yeah, I and I, I told Carl, uh, Carl that um, he'd ask Sylvie whether that's ten o'clock is still okay. It's okay, he replied okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, wonderful. And well, yeah, okay. Uh, it seems that everybody uh, the breakout rooms have been closed and everyone is here where do we send the forms or we just leave it in the cloud yeah just a moment i will uh share my screen and uh remind you how to do it so there um now you should be able to see the, the Google Classroom. And uh, here I click on the uh, Classwork tab. And then this is the Creation Sondage uh, assignment you were just doing. And here it is a Google Docs. I will open it and you will open it as well. And here, and as you see, I will take a little bit bigger just a moment like this here is a small table and uh, here uh, construction has already uh, created a link even if your uh, form is not ready yet you can of course uh, uh, give the link here and so um, uh, it will uh, be um, the link will be active and show all, all the time the latest version. Now, if you see that there are two links, construction and economy, the links are a little bit different. At the end of a uh, link of construction, it says view form. You see that uh, text there, view form, like this. And now this link takes us to such a view that um, the uh, respondents see. And I think this is useful. Um, with economics, this is now the version to the editable. And uh, I think only they can open that link. Oh, thank you. It, you were so quick to uh, change it. So if I now click on the construction work, uh, and now I see, it as somebody uh, who is filling in the form. And that's enough that we will see in, in this phase. Thank you. And if you have some notifications, for example, information for uh, yourself or me or Vesa Yona, that when you are gonna conduct this uh, survey or which institutes and how it would uh, serve us to understand uh, or whether you have different forms for students or teachers etc this kind of uh, further information would be good to have here the idea is that you will conduct and do this uh, send out this form and have the survey done uh, this year so whenever when January begins we can see what kind of uh, ideas or results there are and we can prepare for the for the next uh, training uh, as soon as possible any questions
Uh, there is something on the chat. Ah, oh, Diana, sorry. Um, yeah, I will assign you the role again as an interpreter. Yeah, the breakout room function sort of f forgets who should be interpreter and who not. Okay, updated. Now you are an interpreter as well. Yeah, hey, uh, thank you. Uh, it was so and so nice to see um, most of, of, of the uh, breakout rooms were very active. Uh, in one room, we didn't see anything happen and uh, we uh, will... Uh, later on check that uh, every center of excellence is uh, happily carrying this project onwards. Um, okay, it's almost three o'clock and uh, we are right, uh, uh, right in time in the schedule. Are you good to uh, continue or do you need five minutes break or how do you see it? You can use the chat or mic, whichever. What do you continue on? So let's continue, I guess, yeah. Uh, somebody says, yeah, Victoria said, continue. Christina Savchuk said, da, but I don't know what it means. Yeah, yeah. Which da? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what is your name? Yes or no? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Christina, please. Yeah. Eu mai mult optam pentru pauză, dar dacă colegii mei vor să lucreze, ok, mă conformiază, nu e. And the interpretation. Uh, Cristina, Cristina said that uh, she will uh, agree with what majority says. And I okay. said that they are both uh, polite. Okay, you all are too polite. <laughs> hey, but then uh, the only uh, reply was to continue. So let's let's keep on moving forward. Uh... So um, yesterday uh, we um, dedicated uh, quite a lot to the website development that has been the central process here, and. Uh, I prepared uh, something that you asked uh, in September. You were talking about, for example, that you'd like to know something about uh, mind map and concept map tools available. And uh, I have a short uh, presentation and some links and ideas how our teachers have been using those. And, uh, and uh, this is a quite quick introduction to uh, first Padlet and then some mind map tools. And uh, if you are interested that uh, we will uh, deal with those later on more, we may have time in uh, during the next mission. But I will share my screen as soon as I can find the proper window, just a moment. Takes some time. There is too much going on. Okay. There. Um, now let's take the share screen. Yes. Okay. Again, we are uh, now you see the uh, Google Classroom view to the class work. And let's go to the, this day. And here it says Padlet Instrumente de Artamentala. 
and uh, I will open up that one. like this um, it's possible to well okay let's have it like that there's some yeah here okay for the first um, about uh, we have been using, um, if you remember when we collected uh, your ideas, we, we used Padlet, that is an uh, online collaborative wall, and you can share information there. Attach uh, virtual sticky notes on Canvas, containing te text, pictures, video, etc. And uh, you can also create maps and timelines there. And uh, if you have a free account, you can have three active Padlet boards uh, at the same time. So it's a bit limited, uh, but useful anyways, if you just uh, use them for temporary purposes. Of course, you can uh, then when you have, when you need to uh, store the information, you can uh, copy uh, the information as a PDF or Excel or whatever, so that you will have it later on. But actually, uh, to have a interactive working palettes, you have to uh, just uh, limit to three. Here are some examples from very different kinds of uses that Padlet has. So, uh, for example, the first one, uh, I will open that, that one. This was a uh, material for a conference and uh, this is like a sort of all learning material for certain session is there. This was about best practices on developing learner-based collaboration and knowledge building. And I wanted to share this because this topic might be interesting for you. So this is one, one way of, of vi visually uh, presenting all the uh, learning learning material. This sticky note is for, uh, there's the link to the presentation as such. And there is a certain, there is a Padlet tutorial and there is also a tutorial for a mobile animation uh, app called Telagami. And uh, all the learning videos or animation that we did here are using uh, Telagami. So perhaps you might be interested in uh, watching these as well. In this case, we had three sort of uh, cases or scenarios and three students called Claire, Anna and Stephen uh, who were telling their take on learner-based collaboration and knowledge building. So. This is one, one way of, of do, uh, doing Padlet. And I will close this now and move to the next. And um, this is uh, from, uh, from a, a bit similar uh, training of trainers that we have uh, now, but it was more like sort of a creative production, not so much about uh, uh, sharing uh, information and we used Padlet in, in order to uh, get uh, to put ideas and presentations in, in one place and so it's very quick and a uh, nice way of, of creating this kind of sort of easy access and easy editing uh, shared repositories uh, on Padlet. Uh, there are some so, sort of uh, subtitles like good digital tools and links to those. There are some presentation, presentations we gave uh, during that week and some photos and videos from, from that, that event. So these are uh, not only for teachers and trainers, but also for students. You can say that, hey, you can create your own Padlet account and uh, uh, share your uh, the students' teamwork or their individual work as Padlet 
words. So this was the second ex example. I will close it now and I'm back to the presentation. Uh, one thing that uh, many of our teachers have been um, um, using Padlet for is that it has uh, selection of different kinds of map uh, backgrounds that are interactive. And um, I know at least three there, but I didn't get permission to uh, present any of those. So I had to uh, take my own example here. So every time when I have the opportunity to travel, when I had <laughs> the opportunity to travel, so uh, where, when I was riding my bicycle, I, I was uh, doing this kind of a sort of map. And what you might use this uh, for learning is that, for example, here, all these uh, um, location marks, they are also links. They might contain any kind of information, text, video, or in this case, uh, it's a link to a blog text. So a URL link to some other place. And of course, this could be uh, information uh, in, on your sector and um, sort of location-based uh, links to anything. There are many different kinds of, of backgrounds for maps as well. Okay, I will close this. And the fourth one is, um, this is, um, by Padlet, by themselves, uh, modified a little bit by me. So tips and tricks how to use Padlet. So if you are interested in using Padlet, this is now in English and of course you can use Google tra Translator. But here are some ideas. How do I do certain things on Padlet? And uh, this is um, quite quite long, quite, quite useful one for any, anyone new with Padlet. Okay, I will close this one as well and go back to the presentation. So in very, very short, uh, this is, there was some ideas how to use Padlet. I suggest you, you give it a go and you use these, these links. But um, any, any questions? This is all uh, I will talk about Padlet now. No, I think nothing on the chat. No. Okay. The other thing that was mentioned, uh, I think four times when when we uh, on Padlet we uh, collected information what you'd you'd be interested in was mind maps and concept maps. So some quick tour, what kind of uh, ideas and uh, what what there is available. Surely, this is an area that there there are hundreds, I think, different kinds of tools. Uh, if you pay, if you want to pay for this, but still there are at least hundred different tools uh, to to be used for free. I've uh, uh, I deal here only with three di very different kinds of, and you surely uh, can find others that might be interesting to you. I didn't uh, find, uh, check out which are uh, available uh, in your own language, but of course the first one, Google Draw, that you can access from Google Drive when you are logged in to Google services and you go to Google Drive. And uh, let me do it actually, Drive, google.com if you take here a new document so you don't see google draw here uh, on the first list but when you take this more here is google drawings it's very simple tool uh, a bit limited tool but then again uh, it's it's very handy to do some very basic 
uh, mind maps and concept maps. I will go back to the presentation and you will see here on the right hand side. Here is some uh, very, very basic one, but the neat feature is that we can just like with other Google tools, we can share and collaborate there. So this is collaborated with Pete Stockley, who you met actually in September. So works nice. So this is one of the most basic. A very different approach to mind and concept maps is Kumu. That is not very much, oh sorry, before that uh, there is another one. Um, our teachers are creating um, escape room style, uh, sort of interactive uh, gamified uh, learning material for mathematics currently. Uh, and this example is especially uh, for metal works, uh, what kind of mathematics they, they need there. And the students have certain path and certain game play there that they have to solve some, some mathematical problems when they are doing an actual uh, sort of uh, barbecue grill. And for that project, uh, it would be very confusing, but uh, the teachers um, used a mind map or a concept map program to create uh, such a path uh, and, and such a design how the game goes on. So this is called uh, free business tools. And uh, the good side is that uh, it, it is, um, integrated with Google Drive. But it's a, it's a bit tricky to uh, start with it, but uh, handy and uh, basic uh, mind maps are, are easy to do. I think that uh, in February, uh, it might be interesting to uh, present this uh, uh, escape room concept that we are currently doing. And, um, but, um, this is in progress and uh, tomorrow we will have a whole day developing those. So I hope that uh, early next year we will have those ready. Yeah, Google Drawings, uh, free business tools, then Kumu. And this, is, uh, this might feel very odd uh, in the first place when you open, open it up, as you can see from the screenshot, uh, you can have uh, the uh, sort of the uh, map or the uh, yeah the graphical map and whenever you select some node it will sort of highlight only those connections and uh, it can give you an, a, a screen to attach further information to that and uh, it's a free tool as well and i will now click on the link you see to our digital learning landscape. And this I did two years ago. And uh, here uh, it shows uh, Omnia's own uh, digital learning environment uh, in, in yellow. And then I will zoom in. And then uh, some other cloud services in red and in green, some external ones. For example, we have collab uh, Moodle, we have Collaborate and Vilma uh, in-house. Then we have some Microsoft uh, and other services that are on the cloud of Omnia. And for example, there is Padlet mentioned and uh, different kinds of services mentioned. And whenever I click on, on a, a certain node on the left-hand side, uh, I can add text or uh, put links there and uh, sort of uh, extend this concept map furthermore. So uh, this has very different kind of logic, but you can uh, do with uh, Kumu very different things than uh, with any other mind or concept map tool. I'll close this one now. Yep. 
and I go back and for the last um, tool that is the oldest one but still very strong so it's called uh, as you see the link cmap.ihmc.us so this is um, developed by the by a university at, in the US and uh, it's a free tool that you can download uh, to your own uh, own computer and uh, use there they used to have a cloud service but as far as I know it, uh, it's not available anymore so this is more like you do it uh, on your own offline computer right away and uh, you recognize that book or you have seen the movie Name of the Rose where Sean Connery was starring and uh, I did my master's thesis something like 15 years ago of that book and in order to understand what is happening and going on in, in that book uh, you see uh, the mind map uh, uh, that tells about the actual happening what what's happening in, uh, in the plot and also what kind of textual or intertextual uh, links there are to world literature and bible and whatever there are so this was just a one study project as such very uh, simple and a bit old-fashioned tool but as you see very powerful when you are doing uh, sort of traditional concept and mind maps Have you got um, your own uh, suggestions or recommendations uh, that I haven't mentioned? It might be very good if you could share your uh, own ideas that you know that has uh, has been working well in, in Moldova and um, if you have a good experience. Let me see, I haven't been seeing the chat. Uh, Diana Kasu. Uh, has written the book is great she's recommended uh, it. <laughs> okay yeah yeah actually that is my own own version in in different countries where i visit if i see a translation i i usually buy and that is uh, bought in yashi <laughs> yeah sorry i have to uh, take the just a moment, the dog is uh, stuck. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, you have to show your face as well. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there are my colleagues. <laughs> okay, hey, um, you go. Um, any ideas uh, of your own, what, what um, you might recommend to your colleagues, uh, for example, doing mind maps? No? Okay. Um, then uh, this was a uh, just short of uh, some additional information about tools that you can use in, in order to uh, enhance your uh, digital and hybrid pedagogy. And I will close the this presentation now. And uh, let's go back to the uh, classroom. And here in the classwork, we have one more thing to do. I will open the wrap up document now. I think it's there already, yeah. Mm. Too many Zoom windows so that I can't see it myself. Okay, now now I can present it. Yeah. Hey. Um, uh, we are uh, soon uh, going towards the the finish of of this uh, three day uh, 
work, uh, work and uh, training. And um, one thing that we did year ago, and some of you did all also in September, was the um, was the check-in tool by EU. Uh, you may remember it well, and it it relates to these uh, digital competencies for educators and all these six different spheres of of our work. And um, um, let's skip that. Yeah, and uh, to uh, this week we have been uh, discussing about digital resources and. Um, now uh, you remember the check-in tool and it uh, has questions about your uh, approach and your competencies on all these six different sectors and it gives you uh, um, feedback on where to um, do some further work and where to get uh, further competencies or if your competencies are good already. So um, a year ago, um, practically everybody of you who attended the uh, on-site training at JD, you uh, were able to sort of fill it in and uh, to uh, be part of the, uh, uh, the group as we got the statistical information uh, from EU. But uh, in September, I don't know whether you didn't do it or you didn't uh, mark our group correctly because I got only a uh, sort of some um, aggregate aggregation that included only six of you who had uh, successfully uh, filled in and, uh, and uh, marked our group correctly. So uh, uh, either you, you have done it already, but it didn't go to the right place or you haven't done it. So we will now dedicate some time that you will redo it. And even those six of you who have done it in September, please uh, do it again. So uh, we need to have as much uh, input as possible to be able to compare the situation that we had a year ago to this autumn. So you will have the uh, link to check-in tool. So I will uh, share that link also uh, uh, on chat. Here is the link and what is now very, very important, we have to use the same language version. They, ga they can't aggregate the results if they are not uh, done in the same language. And uh, this is unfortunately not available in Romanian, but happily you are all ab able to uh, write in Russian. So please uh, open the link and click on the Russian version. You see that there are actually different kinds of at least two Russian versions, but the first one there that says, if you are a teacher in primary or secondary school or in initial vocational ed education and training, VET. So under this, you select Russian version. I click on that now. And you enter a page looking like this. Then you click on the start button. And now, now this is important. When you see this kind of a page that I have here, the first thing it asks is the code. And we have, I think it, it's on my presentation, just a moment when I find the presentation again. So we have a code, you see it's IPT MOL 2020. I will write that on the chat as well. Oh. 
IPT Mall 2020. Just a moment. Code. Kristina Savchuk is writing in the chat. Can you please place the link on the classroom as well? Okay, yeah, just a moment. Um, yep, just to find that again. Mm. There it is. Actually, that is the straight to the uh, Russian version. I have that link there. And um, on the chat. Um, wait a minute, I have to check that I don't post something stupid. Does it? Yeah, it goes. Uh, that that is the right version. So, it's now on the chat, and I will add it to the uh, classroom as well. Okay, and for the last topic is um, 18th, sorry, 19th there. Okay, now you have it uh, on the It's now there uh, just before wrap up, as you can see on the classroom. Uh, it's now half past three. And um, let's say that I think that you might need at least, uh, when we were in Kisinau, it took something like 20 minutes. So I will uh, leave you with this work uh, yeah, let's uh, let's say 20 minutes. So 10 to 4, we will continue. I will be uh, here and um, so you can uh, ask questions whether either on chat or or with your mic.
Așa, mă scuzați, se poate întrebare, nu chiar la temă? Can I ask you a question that's not necessarily related to the topic, to ESCO or Vesayona, if I may? Uh, you're welcome. Uh, legată de uh, Google Meet, dacă utilizați dumneavoastră, a apărut you... o întrebare we have a question from uh, some of my colleagues uh, related to google meet google meetings do you do you use it at all i, I would like a consultation on that so in the google meet is it possible to interact uh, in groups like we do it uh, on zoom this is the first question Actually, I have to check, check it out. It was you... on the roadmap to build it, but it might not be ready. She had a second question. Can Can the meetings, the sessions be reg re registered, recorded on uh, Google Meet? As far as I know, it, this uh, function was, uh, option was available in months. I, I can't find it. Yeah, so actually I think it went so that uh, uh, in uh, Google made decision that it will be uh, paid add-on to have this recording. But I check it out. You can use breakout rooms in Google, but you need to have G, G Suite Enterprise for education license. So it's not possible with free version. It's only possible with enterprise version. The, uh... Instructions and uh, Google's own support uh, information is there uh, on the chat in Romanian, and you will find everything for the breakout rooms there. Yeah, but you need to have uh, basically paid license. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as well, you can record a, a video meeting with the paid license, but I don't know, uh, perhaps not with the free version. I'm, I'm not sure. Usually they have opted out those op uh, possibilities from free version. It was free oh, for a short time, but then they decided that it's not included. Yeah. yeah. Here is also a list what you need. Mm -hmm. uh, I will paste on the chat. Uh, for the what you need for uh, recording the video meets. So usually yes. Google has very, very good uh, instructions and uh, uh, set for support in all languages. And if you Google, you usually might find in English and then you just change in the link the uh, ending HL equals if it's en it's english if it's ro it's romanian etc yeah. yeah hey it's um i think um have you all uh, managed to uh, uh submit your check-in tool replies is it somebody still doing it I think no, so I will go to the last leg of our great uh, week. I'm not Traducerea sure. Traducerea, din păcate, nu vă aud foarte rău, mai bine mă pun pe canalul englez, cred. Any translation, please? 
That will be okay without translation, I guess. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, we are almost there. So, um, as the last thing to do, um, so this is the uh, wrap up file we have. We were doing this uh, uh, check in tool, and now it says that okay, we have this kind of plan. Otherwise, quite similar than uh, I shared uh, on September, but uh, it's uh, missing uh, training there in January. So the next one will most likely be the first week in February. And um, we will inform that uh, later on, but most likely so. So um, now we have two things. One is to remind you what kind of homework there is. And the second thing that is for us very important to get your harsh assessment. How have we done? <laughs> so there's the feedback form. So okay. uh, you see it uh, on the, 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 this slide set, but also it's separately here I will show on the class work for our class and the last one here is feedback and if if you happen to need uh, uh, we have also added this zoom session recordings if there are some instructions or clarification for the website please check those again but for okay. oh hey noyembre 19th. I, I yeah. just changed the order. Yeah, yeah. hey, don't change. <laughs> I okay. want to make you a dazzle and a hustle. <laughs> it's yeah, so okay. nice yeah. to see you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, hey, Joy, uh, 19th, how do you say it, November? So there is the feedback. And uh, yeah, it's essential. We, we collect like uh, we, precious stones. So please give your feedback there. <laughs> Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah. And now, hey, Vesayana, would you like to uh, remind of the homework? Yes, I will. Just a moment. Yes, I want to continue. And it's screen number two. Sharing. Yep. I hopefully there's visible. So homework, it's quite easy, but lots of work to do. But it's something you need to prepare for the next time. It's uh, your time to transfer from the listener to the presenter. So step by step, we will guide you, but uh, there's a couple of steps you need to do. So you made before this uh, website uh, update plan. So act according on your plan. It's a first task. It's, it's easy, you have a plan, you just continue. But, and the second task is that uh, ESCO gave you so collect the information with the questionnaire you made. That's the second task. So those are already started. But the third one is that uh, we are able to handle the data effectively. So make a presentation for the next workshop on following teams. So yeah. Just a moment, where's my cursor? Once again, there. This first one, uh, make a short presentation, five to 10 minutes on team, our website now and in the future. So you prepare all your work you have done to be presented what it will be now and how we will continue any sort of form of presentation is accepted, video, uh, PowerPoint, uh, dance, anything. It's up to you how you do it. You can use any online tool if you find any. It's on your own description that how you use and what you use. And uh, the other thing, you need to present the results of the questionnaire how your personal see the website, how you see the website according to the data you collected and what are the plans you are going to act 
on the questions or remarks uh, popped out in the questionnaire. Then, of course, update and develop your content as much as you can and are, you are able to do. So please remember to sleep, please remember to eat. It's not the end of the world if it's not totally finalized at that point. And of course, the most important task, prepare to learn skills to be multipliers. That's the thing we have been heading all these uh, several uh, trainings and those two, three to become. Those are heading that you will be independent, you will be ready to be develop Moldovan with IBT skills in future. Thank you for my behalf. Please remember to feel, to feel feedback. All uh, good and all bad things are appreciated and uh, it will make us to serve you better. Thank you. Hey, I'm like Detective Columbo. One more thing before I go. Hey, um, if you have any internal or external training that you are giving to your colleagues in your institute or other colleges, it would be very, very good to know about those. So uh, either so that uh, you would even uh, invite us to uh, be uh, there with you or just give us information that, hey, you had these topics and uh, who, who was the audience. So uh, if you have something uh, going on, please, I think Veronica might be the best person to uh, go collect and get that information. So send, send it to her, please, if, if possible. And I just checked uh, this link that is uh, straight to the uh, feedback form, there is no feedback yet, but uh, now um, we promise to end uh, half past four, it's practically four o'clock, you still have some nice time to fill in the form and do that. But before that, have you some, some kind of greetings or ideas or something to say to us? We are all ears. If nothing, then thank you for all this. We hope that uh, you go strongly forward and uh, have a nice end of the week and have a nice end of this year it will be february when we actually meet again before that we will uh contact and check uh what kind of uh, uh feedback you have gotten to your survey but that will be perhaps via veronica or at least via email so thank you i will end the recording now